And we're back with Ben 10 Ultimate Alien this time, season two, episode 11. Yes, penultimate episode of season two. I'll be finishing off the whole season tonight. I know I say that so many times, but you know what? Tonight, it's true. It's actually true this time. So, yes. Uh, finishing off season two there. I don't know how they're going to top last episode though. The Ben 10,000 Returns episode was insane. I found it hard to edit it. We dealt with a major villain in Eon last episode who only showed up for one episode. Well, a, a movie and an episode if you consider Race Against Time in the part of the canon, which I suppose it technically is now because I don't know. No. Is it canon? Is it canon or is it not canon? Because they referenced it but they've acknowledged that it's not part of the actual continuity that we're in, so... So, does that make it canon or does it not? I'm not sure. But you know what? It was a lot of fun last episode. We had uh, Professor Paradox, Ben 10,000, uh, Eon, and we almost lost both Swamp Fires and Way Big. So, and Ben 10,000 also said when he put the when he put those aliens back into the Omnitrix, he also said that he gave him a few new ones. So I'll be wondering if we'll be seeing any new aliens right now in this episode. So, yeah, I can't wait to find out. So let's just get into season two, episode eleven, penultimate episode of season two, starting right now. Bro. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Kevin. Anytime. Hang on, I recognise that. That shouldn't be in there. Can I keep it? I'd let you have anything, sweetheart. But that bracelet has a lot of meaning to me. It belonged to your grandmother. I don't know. Long story. That was about Kevin's age. A rookie with a tactical We're getting flashbacks to Max's past, yes! I think I see something. Is this how he became a plumber, maybe? Oh! Well, we know he's not gonna die, but... Ooh, a flashback episode, eh? It's a Max! Of course, once again, not showing actual bullet shots in a cartoon. This is how he met Verdona, he shot her shit down. You go. F 104s are rated for Mach 2. You were pushing Mach 3. You know what happens when an F 104 goes that fast? <laughs> it falls apart. Do you know why President Kennedy wants to send us to the moon? Whoa. Because of the Russians? No. Because of the kind of thing you saw today. You're smart, tough, skilled, and stubborn. You know what that sounds like to me. Grounds for a dishonorable discharge, sir? It sounds like an astronaut, son. Sir? Do you want to go to the moon? Yes, sir. Then you are hereby transferred to Langley Field in Virginia. Enjoy the weekend, airman, because starting Monday, you are an astronaut in training. Nice! <laughs> okay. Huh. Hello. Hello, Verdona. Accepted, of course. Do you have any other talents? Sure. Only to classify. I'm good at keeping secrets. Of course she is. Right. I'm going into space. You don't say. Take me. Yeah. <laughs> you want to take her with? Take her with you. I mean, I got the idea it was a robot, but... Okay, I was about to say you're not going to acknowledge the car that just... that just sped away from where you were called to. Stop 
I'm from another planet, and the man chasing me isn't a man at all. He's actually from a race of sentient robots called Synthroids. Oh? Well, why'd you say so? <laughs> he accepted that very well, but I guess seeing the seeing the spaceship before made it easier to believe. I wonder if he'll show how he gets the rust bucket in this episode. See the T1000 from Terminator 2. Please walk out of the flames like Terminator. Yes. The synthroid put this on my arm. It locked me in this form and neutralizes most of my powers. Most? I can still use telepathy, but I did read your mind. In the diner? It wouldn't take superpowers to tell what I was thinking about. Not then. When you were chasing us in your fighter jet. You were in the UFO. A captive. Then you shot it down and I escaped. Okay. Ooh, no. Okay. Hold that thought. Okay, that was creepy. This thing's probably some kind of tracking device. You need to get it off your arm. They smell copper here. This is this is so Terminator 2. This is so Terminator 2. And then you drop it. Yep, I was expecting that. Yeah, too. My knee. Wasn't expecting to fall that hard. I know the feeling. <sighs> okay, I guess we're going a bit further than Terminator 2. Okay. Don't know understand how that works, but you know what, I'll take it. Ouch! Red skull. Ooh. He said he had history with Max. I didn't expect this though. She is. I'm free. And this is what you really look like? Does my true form displease you? No. On you, that's a good look. And now that you see me as I am. You're some kinky fucker, Max. Come with me. That's the second best offer I've had all day. But 
back here. Why settle for the moon when I can give you the stars? You can't give me what I want. I have to take it. It wouldn't be the same if I didn't do it myself. I won't argue, because I know I can't convince you. But I promise, we will meet again. Okay. I'm counting on it. Magister Lambert came back and recruited me to the plumbers. And Grandma came back too, right? I mean, you had to meet her again. Well, that's a story for another time. We wouldn't want to wake Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. What I, what I miss? Good night, Redona. Whoa! What's this now? A shameless plug for the Patreon is what it is. Basically, telling you to get on over to my Patreon page if you want to see more content from me. At this point, we've got a pretty good back catalogue of shows that we've reacted to and the perks of being a paying patron means not just full length and early access to those shows, but also to Patreon exclusive shows and movies that did not make it onto this YouTube channel. Now, of course, the choice of which pledge to make, to which tier to pledge to, is yours, if any at all. I'm not forcing you to spend your money. But the more money you pay, the more perks you get. But every single paying patron will get their name at the end of every single one of my YouTube videos in the credits. Fair warning, I do record weeks and weeks in advance, so don't panic if you don't see your name up there straight away. It will come up eventually. Anyway, I have rambled enough about the Patreon and trying to get you to spend your money, so let's get back to the video. You know what? That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I did not expect to get a Max episode, but you know what? I am so happy. Because, you know, people know that uh, I have... People who watch my videos know that I have... Well, people who watch Ben 10 Reactions know that I have had conversations with Chainsaw Reacts and others. And the idea of ever seeing a Max Tennyson prequel show has always come up in those conversations. This was... This was as good of a pilot as we could have gotten for that kind of show. Max Tennyson, or basically a Max Tennyson, well, I wouldn't call it a Max Tennyson origin story because we never really, we saw his like introduction to the plumbers and Verdona, but we never actually see him become that. I want to see, I want to see Max Tennyson, a young Max Tennyson being trained by Magister Hulker and Magister Labrid as well. Magister Labrid, I did not expect to see him. What a callback to a long time ago, the first episode of Alien Force, first two episodes of Alien Force. And that was a big callback, and a very good one as well. It's one that I never... Th you know what, when he said in the first episode of Alien Force, well, or second, whichever one, when he said that he had Mac history with Max Tennyson, I did not expect this. It's been so long since I saw that, and only seeing him now has rem like, reminded me of those words that he said. Oh, wow. Yeah, very good. Very good to see that. Uh, we, we, got, we got a picture of JFK in the... A picture of JFK was in the background of that Colonel's office. Okay. You know what? Fair enough. I did not expect that. I did not expect Ben 10 to get that real. And it was also set during the time of when uh, humanity was trying to go to the moon. So this would have been, would have been in the 60s. Because <coughs> I believe it was 68 or 69 that they went to the moon. One of those two. So this would have been during that time. This, and with the synthroid and everything, and the... The smelting place, whatever. This went so Terminator 2, or Terminator, whichever one you want to think about, but it reminded me so much of Terminator. I suppose more Terminator 2 because of the smelting place. But then we decided to go a bit further. Uh, no, he, 
he was dropped into the molten uh, copper and he got himself out of it and he still kept coming. So it went a bit further than that, but you know what? I loved it so much. I was very happy to see a bit of a weird place to put it, uh, put it the, the penultimate episode of this season, but I know there's a lot of back and forth, like different, there's a lot of different accounts of is this the season two finale or or is it just an episode of season two? Because I know some people say season two has 32 episodes. Some people say uh, season two has 12 episodes and season three has 20. I know there's a lot of controversy. Well, not controversy. There's a lot of... Everyone has their own opinion of what seasons two and three are of this show. But you know what, I'm just going to call it season 2, the penultimate episode of season 2, and the one I'll be recording this is episode season, uh, the season finale. So I'm going to be getting on to that. Let me, let me get on to the ranking though first. Okay, so, better than episode 2? Yes. Better than episode 5? Uh, which was the... It was the last time we saw Verdona. Uh, yes, it was better than that. It was the sunny episode. Better than episode 1? Yes, it was. Better than episode 4? Yes, it was. Better than episode 9? Yes, it was. Uh, better than episode 7. Which was episode 7? Uh, oh, the Lacubra episode. You know what? Yeah, I'll say it was. Better than episode 8, which was the, the Plumber's Training episode. Which one would I watch more? Put this below episode 8 but above episode 7, so that is where episode 11 goes. It takes 5th place in this ranking. So, yeah, a lot of fun, and I cannot wait to get into next episode. So, yeah, uh, for anyone who wants to know now, don't feel obliged to do so, but I, I now have a throne a, a throne account so it's like an Amazon wish list online I'll leave the description I'll leave the link in the description so if you want to go and look at those things that are on that uh, wish list not gonna lie I've bought a few for myself recently some very useful stuff and the stuff that's on there now is not so useful in compared to the YouTube channel but you know what it's stuff I like so if anyone wants to have a look at that and contribute maybe not asking you to not telling you to but to suggesting but yeah that's all we've got for this episode of ben 10 ultimate alien until next time we are over and out bye